Hawkins. Congratulations to P.J. Hawks, who got married last night, Harper. That's right. But that's how much he wants to compete. He was not going to miss. He was not going to miss Wildcat Sports. Turn to John Curtis here tonight. That's how much competition means to P.J. Hawks. He wants to compete with the absolute best, and he's going to get his wish here tonight with the underground king, Brian Keith. PJ's a newlywed. You guys see how much of that? You remember kind of, those days, don't you? I do, Harper. And PJ Hawks, I mean, not only is he a new husband, he's also has his work with the NWA, with the Hit Show Heels, which is season two is going to be premiering this summer on Stars. He's got a lot on his plate. But that's not going to stop PJ Hawks from trying to be the absolute best here at Wildcat Sports. And it looks like Dwight Keith is uh, not too eager to rush in the ring with P.J. Hawks here. And look at that, look at some respect being shown by P.J. Hawks. Welcome. Oh, what a class. Uh, Brian Keith okay. back into the ring here. Did you that from the and uh, Brian Keith uh, playing some mind games maybe here with young P.J. And it looks like Brian yeah. Keith might be ready to compete now. I bet P.J. can't do that. Brian Keith came here for a fight. The bounty hunter Brian Keith, the prodigy P.J. Hawks. And Keith almost jumping the gun here before the bell. There's the call and here we go. One on one. Underground King Brian Keith versus the prodigy P.J. Hawks. And P.J. extending a hand to show of respect. Here to, to start things off. And P.J. Hawks, one of the absolute That's best right. in competition, oh. and uh, Brian Keith answered the call, but doesn't look to be too interested in sharing that respect for young P.J. Right. And P.J. Hawks has spent much of his career here at Wildcat in the tag team division, now entering into the singles ranks, but take another way from P.J., he's a very accomplished amateur wrestler, as you yes, see him yes. putting on that display here, and Competition in the blood of P.J. Hawks. It has been his mission statement to get in the ring with the absolute best. And Ryan Keith might make P.J. Hawks eat those words, Harper. He's got a great head scissors on him. But Ryan Keith has already been in the reputation yeah. for being one of the absolute best P. on P. the independent scene. Back up. Now, I don't know if anybody that's going to be able to out Matt wrestle out chain wrestle P.J. Hawks but Brian Keith an accomplished mad wrestler in his own right and yes. how insulting is that to use the front face off here and the P.J. Hawks just meeting P.J. in that technique but some riding time here with P.J. Hawks but Brian Keith maneuvers his way to the bottom rope and slips to the outside there to take a breather here and rethink P.J. is such a young kid He's got so much more to learn, but I mean, he's just so great at his craft. I guess it's crazy to think that P.J. Hawks, as good as he is, hasn't even scratched the surface right. of the potential he could be. And that's why he wants to get in the ring with someone like Brian Keith. He wants to test his metal. He wants to get better. You only get better if you compete with the best, Harper. That's right, baby. And Brian Keith finally rolling back in. And this is a very different Brian Keith than the one we last saw in Wildcat Sports screens back during the pandemic. A new look, a new attitude for Brian Keith. And I don't think he's uh, not too eager to set the pace that this no. crowd wants him to. Not going to rush into anything. That's the experience. Look at Brian Keith. I think he's playing my game with PJ. I think he got to, and we'll see if PJ has the experience to not fall for it. But again, look at that, shoots right into the cover, and again, back on time, Keith into another cover here. Maintain control, look at that bridge for PJ Hawks, and referee right in there, and again, maintains control, trying to tie up those legs. Oh, look at, and maybe jog into a hole, submission hole there, and Brian Keith quickly, desperately grabs the bottom rope and will force the break from PJ Hawks. And again, on that exchange, I think the point goes 
to the Prodigy. And you see the frustration on Brian Keith's face here. Yes, and, and again rolling to the outside. Oh, like I said, he's playing my games with PJ. But do you think that maybe Brian Keith looked past PJ Hawks? Not only because PJ is a more, most known as a tag team wrestler, but just his age, his lack of experience. I mean, we've seen PJ test his medal here at Wildcat Sports. We saw him go to war with Stevie Richards. He had that classic match with Willie Mack at PJ's X-ray the bachelor right. party. I mean, PJ is an accomplished singles competitor. And Brian Keith looks like he wants to have nothing to do with young PJ Hawks. And now all of a sudden, now, now that he's got the taste of the technical prowess of PJ, does Brian Keith want to show some respect? Extending that hand for a handshake. Just shake his hand, PJ, come on. I mean, knowing PJ like I do. Oh, I almost expected the end. Look, I'm not going to fall for it, though. Right goes no. into the side headlock. Big shoulder block. Oh! Nice big boot. Trying to take Keith down, went through it. Big boot takes Keith off his feet. PJ Hawks down in the corner. Look at this, Keith is on him. And he's going to keep picking this moment, pounding an opening. And it's being relentless, look at the aggression from the underground king. Here comes Keith. Oh! PJ Hawks was gliding right into the boot of Brian Keith and got a two count for it. What would you call that, a martial arts kick? You watch those ninja movies. Mm -hmm. Brian Keith, well versed, studied, has a great love and respect for the athletes over in Japan across the pond. And Loves to bring that strong style to his strategy. But PJ Hawks, oh, oh, again, comes in with a head of steam. It goes all the way over the top rope and crashes on the outside. We saw and Brian Keith. down. I was able to saw Brian Keith. He had tried to drop that knee, and Perry was able to move out of the way. But we saw him hit that knee on the canvas. He's grabbing ah. at it, not eager to rush out there. You see the referee checking on PJ Hawks. And The newly married PJ. Not Maybe PJ should stay at home and be a family man. Yeah, well, he's, he might be thinking he should have. He's not in a good way on the outside. But that's not the PJ Hawks we know, Harper. You know that's not PJ. He'll take this fight and then some. The first time in this match, I can tell you, PJ is in a very, very, very bad situation. And there's our Brian Keith just slipping into the ring just enough to break the referee's count to go right back out and punish PJ on the outside. And just lighting up PJ Hawks with that vicious chop to the chest. Now, come on up, Brian. Brian is just abusing PJ. It's a aggressive side of Brian Keith bringing it here to his return to Wildcat here tonight. Live from John Curtis. And now both men back in the ring finally here. And Brian Keith looking to focus on that oh. knee, dropping it. And look at that, mounting up that quad here. You see PJ Hawks clutching that left leg. Yes, PJ's not in a good situation. That knee, twisting over that ankle here. And going again for that knee and that thigh. Shut it up. Trying to take out the legs of PJ Hawks, who's the underground king. Ah. Folding up, tying up PJ here. Now, uh, right there, after the referee, PJ wants to give it up. Cover right there, PJ saying no, but how much can he take here? I don't know how much he can take. As you look at the pain on the face of PJ. 
He's in the center of the ring, long way from the ropes. PJ's shoulders are close to being down. Look at the fight of PJ Hawk sitting up out of it. You know, it's putting more pressure on his leg, but Blake keeps refusing to let go. PJ's trying to roll away, trying to try to get to that rope any way he can. Reaching for it, oh, finally grabs the, the rope. Now out of bounds, Brian Keith's gonna be forced to let go of that hold. He doesn't want this match to end. Finally listening to the referee let it go, and, but has the damage been done, Harper? I think a lot of damage has been done to PJ's knee. Now he's a, PJ didn't immediately try to get to that rope. Now wait a minute, trying to roll up. Brian Keith there, roll Was up. It? No. Two count only. Oh. Anyway, desperation roll up there because Keith just puts PJ right back down. PJ looks almost completely out of it. I don't think we, we've seen PJ in a situation this is desperate before. No, I mean, Brian Keith, one of the absolute best in the business today, and he is putting the pain on PJ Hawks. Grabbing that hair, Brian Keith. Bringing the fight to PJ Hawks here tonight. I've always been so impressed with Brian Keith. I was so excited for this match. It was one of those matches I was so looking forward to, Harper. Yes. He was the best. And there you see why. You see PJ, he's not going to let go. Oh and then look at that God. low drop kick right to the knee. My God. He might have just taken PJ's left leg completely out of it, hooking that same leg. Oh. No. I think at this point, maybe PJ should just in this match I mean, you to save his career. As I say, like the longer he goes in, the more punishment you know that Brian Keith is going to put on that knee. You don't, you hate to see PJ walk away with an injury. He was folded up in that hole before. He could have tried to get to that rope, but that's not PJ. He tried to fight out of it and stayed in that hole far longer than he probably should have. Now, desperately trying to break down PJ, but look at him grabbing the knee, not even yes. capitalize, and Keith immediately picking at it. Oh no. Now Brian Keith dragging PJ Hawks over to the corner. This is not good for PJ, referee. Trying to get Keith oh. over. Well, I guess he's gonna say that was in the lower thigh. No grandkids for Luke Hawks. Looks like pretty high on the thigh there. And not a good way to spend the night after you get married, PJ. No, just think. 24 hours ago, PJ was enjoying life. Oh no! Life. And again, the knee cut. Now he's hating life. Come on, Let's Keith. Go. Not again. Come on, Keith. No, not again. Keith. Oh my God! He's throwing. The lifeless leg of PJ Hawks right in that post, and PJ Hawks trying to maneuver, not even able to get his legs underneath him. Trying to get away from that turnbuckle pose, and Keith now saying he's not done, he's got one more. Come on, referee. Stop this. PJ with the break, oh no! Brian Keith went for it one too many times, and PJ Hawks made him pay for it. Brian Keith's face just bounced off of that post. And now PJ hopping on one foot now. He just got one leg, but going up to the leg now, Brian Keith. Now that she's on the other foot. I'm talking about, I guess it's fair play here with PJ yes. Hawks. He's in, in a bad way here, but now, despite that, PJ's still in this fight. Ah, uh, PJ's. He's fighting for it. Look at the pain on his face as he fights. Just get on top of that turbo. He's taking a major risk. Look at that. His knee. Pouncing PJ Hawks. Big cross body off the top. That's the fire and desire of PJ Hawks, Harper. And just like that. Yes. Both men down. Who's gonna get to their feet first? Who can even stand on both their feet now? Right. PJ's the first one up. PJ's up in the corner, still limping on that leg. 
been able to get in. Trying to fire in as best he can on one leg. And look at that technique of PJ Hawks. Hooks in your leg here right on top of Brian Keith. And Keith able to get that left shoulder up. Two count only. Peter trying to stay on that. Watching that leg with Brian Keith. Oh, he got caught there. Again. I don't understand how PJ Hawks is even on his feet here. Right. Look at this, looking for maybe a draping team. Oh no, I did a suplex. That draping suplex. Can't imagine the technique that takes, let alone with one leg and still only two count. Tony Brian Keith finds himself in a bad way. Even a one-legged PJ Hawks. No, no. He couldn't get him up. PJ couldn't get him up. I think it might be might be done. And now Brian Keith setting up. PJ Hawks maybe looking for that so fire bomb, but Brian. Wait, wait, rolls it right Come to on, the right. referee. Wait out of position, goes in and to get only Nate. Reversal. Trying to hold on that leg again for PJ. Now, Brian Keith setting him up uh -oh. again. Go for that soul fire bomb. Come on, ref. Cover. No, PJ able to get the shoulder up. Ah. The Tiger Bomb. Finally connected, but P.J. Hawks still able to get the shoulder up, Hopper. Yeah, P.J. still down. Now Brian keep thinking, what do I have to do to put away this young kid? What do I got to do to put away P.J. Hawks? And Brian keep firing into another gear, but P.J. got the good foot up. PJ going. Now wait a minute. Uh-oh. PJ looking to get some revenge here on Brian Keith. Oh, oh my God. How does that feel, Brian? <laughs> the tables have been reversed on the underground yes. king. Now it's Brian Keith having his leg attacked by PJ Hawks. And now dragging, trying to fold up PJ Hawks in that Hawks clutch. No, but wait, reversing into it. Wait, no, roll through. PJ, hold on. Oh my God. Hold on, and Brian Keith's going to tap out. The Hawks clutch is tucked Keith in. Keith is close to the ropes, though. How much can Keith stand? Brian Keith is in a bad way. P.J. Hawks trying to pull back as much as he can on that bad leg. Oh, and finally grounded the break. Heartbreaking for P.J. Hawks. Look at his face. Forced to let go of the break. And was that the last bit that P.J. had? No, again, staying on Browning Keith. Not looking maybe for, oh. Was it maybe even for a Boston Crab? No. slamming Brian Keith down there. No, wait a minute, Keith One, feeling the rope, feeling two. the rope, so wait a minute. PJ able to get the shoulder up, referee never saw it. And now Keith again back on the leg. Oh no, that is it, that's it. This is all over for PJ. Yeah, PJ's gotta get to those ropes. Now look at Brian Keith. Ah. The pain that PJ must be in. Trying to reach. No look, the technique trying to roll over, but no, still Brian Keith holding on. Brian Keith is um, like a pit bull. Is there anything that's just worse? He's got all that weight now on top of PJ. PJ's got to crawl. Oh, Brian Keith now got it. Uh. Yeah, I think that was his last, that was his last chance, Hopper, I think. I don't think Hopper, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Brian Keith, and wait a minute though. Brian Keith almost applied in the referee, and oh! 
Again, PJ able to stop himself. Oh, wait, wait, Brian Keith went for the low blow, but PJ Whoa. caught it. Brian Keith tried to go low, PJ caught him. Dropped him down face first. Cover here. Is that enough? No. no. Right back into the hot oh squats. Look at the torque. Look at the back. Oh, That's and he it. has to tap out. He tapped out. That was one hell of a match. On one leg, PJ Hawks was able to put away the underground king. I'll be surprised if either of these men's gonna be able to walk on both feet tomorrow. But on this night, it is PJ Hawks standing tall. Both feet under him, hand raised high. What a fight, Harper. Yes, PJ. The married man is now a winner. He wanted the best in the business, and he definitely got it. Brian Keith, who showed why he's one of the hottest competitors in the game today. But when PJ cinched that Hawks clutch in, Brian Keith had no choice. Congratulations to PJ Hawks for your huge victory here tonight for Wildcat Sports. PJ. Now wait a minute. PJ Hawks going to leave and Brian Keith saying he's not done with PJ. Great show of respect. I think PJ Hawks earned Brian Keith's respect, as well as everyone here. What a contest between both these athletes. Yes. A great show of respect from the Undercrowd King to the better man here tonight. 